pet people my name is Lexi and welcome back for today's video as you can see from the title it's just I'm gonna be updating you guys on about my life about some of the videos I had planned and you're also gonna get to hear what it was like for me to go to a zoo and or aquarium during a global pandemic um, we're just gonna touch all those bases because it's all something I've done recently so I just want to take you guys along with me and tell you about what's going on with me and what's going to be going on with the channel so if you're interested please keep watching. Okay guys so first things first in my previous update video I told everyone everything to be excited for and everything that was going to happen and go on and you know like I said in the beginning it's 2020 nothing can stay the same so almost all of that changed. <laughs> I'm still going to be moving. I'm now moving in November and um, this month. That's pretty soon actually and I'm really excited about that. I'm still hoping to film the um, what you need to move with animals video and the how to move animals video and then of course once I get there I'm going to do my whole little animal setup and or apartment tour video. All that's still going to be normal instead of being in December now I'm, I'm going to move in November though. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that Aquashella 2020, as almost everyone should know by now um, from my vlog, well, from my video that I released on Halloween, is canceled. I talked a lot in that video about Aquashella, but I ended up going back and editing it out because Aquashella did get canceled. It was just kind of a health precaution that they took, I believe, um, to ensure no one got COVID from the amount of people that were going to go. Yes, I've already been refunded for it. Um, the refund process wasn't as smooth as I'd hoped, but I still did get refunded for all of the tickets I had purchased. Was I sad that I didn't get to go to Aquashella? Definitely. Um, I was really looking forward to that and because there isn't going to be an Aquashella in California, I'm probably not going to get to go to Aquashella in any of the recent or any of the next couple of years at least. Um, so kind of bummed about that but I understand you know a lot of venues are closing their things to ensure that people don't catch COVID. So that leads me into the next part I want to talk about which is traveling to a zoo or aquarium during a global pandemic. So anyway yeah as I was saying traveling to the zoo during a global pandemic um, I went to the San Diego Zoo, which you guys are going to see videos on here soon. Now the bird outside is making noise. It's, it's just one of those days. But anyway, I went to the San Diego Zoo and I went to the Birch Scripps Aquarium in San Diego. Both of those videos will be coming out um, this month. And I also have a vlog style video coming out this month, which is the first one I've ever done. So hopefully, you know, I get feedback on that. Hopefully you guys like that. But the main thing I want to talk about with going to these establishments is that it is okay to still go to these establishments if you follow all the precautions and procedures that they ask you to. So the Birch Scripps Aquarium had you purchase your ticket in advance and select an exact time in which you'd be showing up to the aquarium and um, checking in with your ticket. That made it so much easier. There were no lines. It was a really nice experience um, and just kind of helped space people out so not everyone was up on each other at the aquarium. Absolutely love that. And the San Diego Zoo, while you couldn't check in at an exact time, there were no line. Well, there was a line for the health screening portion, which I'm going to kind of like insert a picture of. As you can see, there were little stickers every six feet saying, you know, to wait in line and then they'd have you health screened um, and then you could go in and check in with your ticket. But there was no ticketing line really. Um, it went very quickly as far as the health screening too. We weren't like standing in the same place for a very long time. It was very consistently moving. They did a really great job with that. And for both of them, like I said, there were not long lines that I had to wait in and not everybody was up on everybody. So I actually... I'm kind of down if we keep that exact same procedure for future reference um, as far as that part goes. Now, you did have to wear your mask, which San Diego Zoo, you're walking a lot, you're outside. Obviously, it can be uncomfortable, but it's something that we have to do. We have to follow those rules and procedures um, because of everything going on right now. So, that 
was an obvious thing and it wasn't that bad actually um especially for the aquarium they had it nice and cool in there and nobody was up on each other everyone was spaced out at the zoo people were a little less spaced out but it wasn't as crowded as i would say it normally is and with both places they had a lot of the um sanitizing stations and like signs everywhere saying please do this please do that you know precautionary signs but overall the experience was really nice um i i i thought it was good and the reason i'm bringing this up in this video is because i want to quickly say i hope everyone still goes to zoos and aquariums just because there's a global pandemic does not mean you should stop that um yearning for or you know wanting to take children to go see animal education uh, programs or animal education places such as zoos and aquariums that talk about animal breeding and you know reintroduction to the wild for certain species and stuff like that it's just very good that we still continue to bring that into today's society um especially with everything going on i i very firmly believe that zoos and aquariums are places that you should still take your children of course following regulations and procedures that should be followed so the next news i have i was in san diego because that's where i'm gonna be moving yay i think i mentioned that in my previous video i just don't remember i'm gonna be moving there with my now husband um i did get married while i was there as well we are very excited, we're very happy, and I am super ready to see what the channel can do and what I can do in terms of videos and content for you guys. Super, super excited. We're still growing very slowly, but I'm very proud of our family. We're doing a great job, guys. Super proud of that. But I am mentioning I'm moving to California for the very specific reason that if I do have delayed videos for the month of December, that is why. Um, I thought I was going to be taking a break this past, since my last update video. I really haven't. I've been doing like every other week videos, which is fine. Month of November, I have videos coming out every week. And it's just, I really enjoy doing this for you guys and really enjoy making videos. So if you have any specific videos you would like to see, um, definitely comment down below or you know message me on instagram i actually have been messaging a couple of my subscribers who have been sending me pictures and videos of their reptiles um and it's just great to interact with all of you and get to know you kind of it doesn't feel so much like i'm talking to a camera anymore as much as it is i'm talking to you guys so thank you for that but yeah Moving to San Diego, got married, I'm graduating in December also. It's just so many things happening at once and because of that I would like to once again say please be patient if my videos do slow down in December. Um, I know I've kind of done the opposite of what I said I was going to do, but I definitely have a lot of big plans for videos in January and all of next year. Um, I'm hoping to be doing some more custom cages videos for you guys. I'm hoping to be doing some more bioactive videos for you guys hoping to possibly be getting some more animals for you guys. It just is going to be a great year and this is closing off this kind of rough year um, and I'm thankful for you guys and just wanted to kind of give you an update on what it's been like the past little bit for me and once again say everything's changing. So currently moving in November, if that changes again, I'll update everyone. I'll update everyone on the changing video schedule but yeah, I'm super excited to see how this goes and super excited to bring you all along with me. So thank you for watching this short update video. I know it was mainly just me rambling, um, but thank you for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy and tune in for next week's video, which is the Birch Scripts Aquarium Tour. Um, basically what I did was just do the videos and a music montage, but I think it turned out really nice. And then the following week is a zoo tour, so... Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.